Hey guys, it's Roha here, and due to popular demand, I am going to do a quick little auction house guide. I'm gonna, just going to show you guys how I use the auction house to my advantage. So a lot of people don't know you can search for armor with increased attack speed, or they just don't know how. So I'm going to show you real quick, it's very simple. When you're searching for armor, you just leave the all armor item types completely blank, and then you just choose the under rarity, uh, legendary, and then you type in inc attack speed increase, and say you want 100 decks with that, you put that in, you type search, boom. Bunch of items come up with increased attack speed on it, and they're all armor and stuff like that. So, and they're pretty awesome for team hunters. A little tip with the rings: if you want to compare your both your rings, all you gotta do is when comparing with rings, is hold Alt when you're holding it over the uh, item you want to buy, and you can see your other ring. So, a lot of people want to find an awesome bow for as cheap as possible. This is how I usually find my bows for cheap. And you go to I usually choose crossbow because I like the high DPS. You go to rarity rare because that's where you find the best uh, best ones. You don't want a magic one. Just make this, the uh, searching simple. Um, what I do is first thing I put in is has sockets. You want a socket on your bow always. Uh, next thing you want is critical hit damage. So you put in critical hit damage, and a little trick is, and then say you want to spend two million, you put in two million. But the little trick is, is when you're searching for this, you want to the fastest way to do it if you want to be just really quick. What you do is you scroll through them all and you look for the one that has an open socket. Or you can individually go through each one and look for one that has natural crit. Because you're looking for the natural crit damage, right? On the bow. So, but when you find that open socket one, then usually they're underpriced. So you can buy a nice one and you can put your own gem in it and you get more crit damage. Another way to find one that's already been um, socketed with an emerald is you type in critical hit damage 100. And you know for sure that all these bows have natural crit damage. It's I know it's it's an easy way to find them, and sometimes you're lucky enough to find a nice one really cheap. All right, bidding. I'm not a big bidder. I like buying stuff that has a bio price, and the reason why is because it's very tough to get to win a bid. There's a lot of sharks out there, and they see a really cheap item, they're sitting there and they're waiting for the last second. But if you do want a bid, you could use the tactic I do when I see an awesome item that I really want. And uh, I use a stopwatch for it. I know it's kind of lame, but uh, I use a stopwatch. And what I do is, when there's about two minutes left, I refresh the page. All you got to do to refresh it is press search over and over again. I keep re constantly refresh until as soon as I see one minute pop up instead of two minutes. So as soon as there's one minute, I start my timer, and then I wait till about 55 seconds passes, and it's and I, I continuously refresh as well during this. But as soon as 55 seconds passes, there's only 5 seconds left in the bid, and that's when I place my bid. And usually I can come or walk away with a steal, but uh, I still would not recommend bidding because literally in the last couple minutes of bidding, the price goes up to about the price of a normal, the normal item price. You'd buy it at a buyout anyway, so what's the point? So yeah, that's how I use the auction house. Uh, there's no big secret or anything like that, how you get awesome items. You just abide by those simple rules and you will get some pretty pretty cool items for a decent price. And don't forget to like this video, comment if I missed something or anything like that, or if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.